We're going to have the opportunity today to talk about the choral programs here at Sacred Heart University. And I'm joined by Dr. John McNevich, the Director of Choral Programs here. How are you today? I'm very good. Thank All you. right. So, uh, Dr. McNevich, can you talk a little bit about uh, the opportunities for students uh, interested in choral programs at the university? Yeah, thanks, Rob. Well, we have a very exciting choral program. Uh, currently, we have six choirs, including our concert choir, which is a large SSAA ensemble. And we have a liturgical choir, which sings for Mass each week. Um, we also have a select chamber choir called Four Heart Harmony. And then we have two uh, a cappella choirs, a um, tenor bass a cappella choir. And then we have a women's a cappella choir, soprano alto. And then new this year, we have a gospel choir, uh, which is also very exciting. So um, all of our choirs come together to sing for different concerts and events. And then uh, from time to time, various of our choirs will do um, events, concerts, performances on their own as well. Okay. Uh, for a student that is thinking about uh, coming in to do a choral programs at Sacred Heart, who may have done it in high school, what is some of the what are some of the differences that it can expect from their high school experience and then the college experience? Um, at the college level, um, we typically have a faster pace that we're learning the music. Um, we try to do repertoire that's um, very engaging, very rewarding. Um, typically some of our concerts will have a certain message to them or a certain theme as well. So um, in terms of repertoire, we try to cover a wide variety um, of music that's fulfilling, engaging, it will be on a collegiate level. Um, and so we try to really do you know, quite a wide range of music. Uh, you know, for many of the students that are interested in choral, they have had some experience. Uh, but one of the things that is so special about Sacred Heart is that we encourage students to get out of their comfort zone when they come to the university. So for a student that may not have as much experience in music or sight reading, um, what would be their approach to coming into the choral programs at Sacred Heart? Well, we try to be very welcoming to everyone, and we realize that uh, from different high schools and different um, levels of experience that students have. Um, we try to engage them at whatever level that they're at. Um, we try to provide um, learning opportunities within our choirs, so with master classes, um, with um, vocal technique sessions, with warm-ups, and um, we have our freshmen come in and um, do some solfege training as well, uh, and that's very helpful for uh, all of our choirs. Okay. Um, what are some of the typical repertoire, some of the typical music that students can anticipate uh, performing? Well, throughout the year, um, we do everything from selections by Eric Whitaker. We do some traditional pieces. Um, we recently had a gospel fest, so we did, you know, a pretty wide range of uh, exciting gospel pieces. We do Broadway um, and everything in between. So. Um, you know, it's probably some um, sort of pieces that people will have heard from or heard about. And then um, we have fun exploring new pieces. Um, we have some um, compositions that our students have arranged. Um, one exciting project that we had uh, this past year was our uh, Superman group did a a cappella reimagining of um, the uh, Sgt. Pepper album. By the Beatles. Um, by the Beatles, yeah. By the Beatles, yeah. Um, our gospel choir, um, our director of the gospel choir wrote a piece this year. So, um, yeah, so we do everything from new music. Actually, next year we have a, uh, a composer that we've commissioned a piece okay. for, and it's um, she's written this piece called We Will Stand Up, and uh, so we're very excited about that. So, yeah, so we do, you know, everything from traditional to jazz, contemporary, um, and everything in between. So um, in preparing students uh, for the expectation of what choral will be here, talk about the weekly experience. How many hours of rehearsal? Um, what can they expect in the way of training, performances, classes, things of that nature? Mm -hmm. Usually the commitment is between four and six hours a week, depending on just exactly what choirs they were in or they choose to be in. Um, as far as uh, the weekly experience, I mean, we'll have 
each group will rehearse about twice a week um, and we'll go through the uh, repertoire either in a sectional type rehearsal um, for a lot of the repertoire we'll put um, uh, rehearsal tracks online that students can access um, so yeah typically um, we'll do a couple big concerts in the fall with all of our choirs um, and then uh, some of our choirs will have different events and concerts on their own. Uh, for example, our chamber choir for Heart Harmony has a long-standing tradition of uh, doing an anti-bullying concert. Um, the uh, Schupermen do a fundraising concert for a social services group. Um, we'll be asked to sing for different events on campus as far as academic convocations. Um, liturgical choir will do, you know, prayer services that might come up, or interfaith Thanksgiving services. Um, sometimes we're asked to sing off campus for events, so. Um, and what are some, what would you say are your defining performances uh, for the choir each year? Well, um, in the fall we have a family weekend concert and then a large Christmas concert. Um, in the spring we have our Gospel Fest, which is hugely attended and um, very popular. Um, at the end of the year, we'll try to do um, another kind of themed concert. Um, this year, it's a Souvenirs of Italy concert. Okay. okay. Um, sometimes it's been a more Broadway-themed concert or a popular music concert. Okay. So, so there's a wide array of performances yeah. that students can anticipate. Yeah. Um, how many students are currently in uh, the choral program? This year, we have about 200 students participating. Okay. Uh, and uh, out of those students, how many of them uh, typically stay through all four years? Uh, I would say a good majority of students participate throughout their four years. Um, it depends on their schedules sometimes as far as which choirs. I would say many of our students will say, I'm in concert choir. Uh, some of our students will actually be in a couple different choirs. Um, so some of them may say, I mean, liturgical and blended hearts, and they stick with that. Sometimes because of schedules, um, and especially with some of our health science majors because of labs and clinicals and things like that, um, they might adjust what choir they're in throughout okay. the year. And then sometimes people, you know, they'll start out with one choir and say, hey, I want a more um, selective experience, so they'll audition for um, you know, a couple of our selective choirs, Blended Hearts, uh, Superman, Four Heart Harmony. Mm -hmm. So they'll, you know, become involved in those. Or sometimes they'll just say, I want to try a different choir or um, get an experience in an alternate choir. So sometimes okay. that happens too. Now one of the things that's um, unique about the choir program is that um, over the years we, you've had the opportunity to take the choir uh, abroad. Uh, both internationally and domestically. Mm -hmm. Could you talk a, a couple uh, about a couple of those trips that you've done? Yeah, um, we've had some really amazing um, experiences, and um, we've been to Italy, Spain, Ireland, um, and it's just so exciting to sing in a place like Saint um, Peter's Basilica in Rome for a Sunday Mass, or in a you know a big concert hall in Europe, or uh, some very exciting thing. And I think the opportunity to tour with a choir. Um, students enjoy being with their friends and going on tours. Every time I go, I see something new and different that I haven't seen and, and experienced. In the last couple of years, you've had students uh, been able to sing at St. Patrick's Cathedral in yeah. New York City. Um, some of our choir students actually sang backup recently for Josh Groban, mm -hmm. correct, at a concert in the city? Yes, at Radio City Music Hall and um, with Sarah Brightman. And so there's. Um, many, many exciting opportunities uh, with the choir program, which I think the memories that are made in the choir are those that really can last for a lifetime. It's so, uh, you know, we're in the age of virtual experience right now. So for those seniors out there who are still thinking about uh, being a member of the choral program or uh, have expressed interest but may have not auditioned yet, what is the process right now for students uh, that still would like to become part of the choral program this coming fall? Um, our current process is we're inviting students to send in a video and we want that to be a fun experience as well. Um, so um, it can be about 45 seconds to a minute in length and 
students can um, sing their part from a choir piece that they're working on currently or other students will send in a solo selection that they may have uh, worked on so that can be a Broadway piece, it could be a classical piece, um, whatever the student feels comfortable with and it can be you know a, a verse in a chorus it could be a highlight of a choral piece that they're currently working on. Okay. Um, they can sing to a backing track or they can sing a cappella. Um, so we just want to get, you know, a sense of um, the student's singing experience and, you know, their potential to add to the um, Sacred Heart Choir family. And the information about how to send your uh, uh, video auditioning can be found at the bottom of your screen uh, as you're watching the video. Yeah, we really encourage everyone to send in a video and um, actually it's very exciting for us, the audition process and to see what kind of talent and which kind of skill and uh, the different personalities. I, I'm, I love doing um, auditions, um, whether they're in person or in the video auditions. So. Okay. Uh, and then um, typically what is your process for auditions for students out there that may be interested in becoming part of the uh, choral program? Um, our typical process is that um, while students can submit a video audition at any time, um, typically we like to have the students come in and meet with us. Um, we'll do a short warm-up um, just so that the student feels comfortable and we can kind of hear the voice. Um, again, they can bring in um, a piece that they're working on in their current choir or a solo piece of any style um, and then typically we'll read through um, just a short maybe eight measures of um, of a kind of a typical choir piece okay. so that's really what we would normally do okay uh, for uh, information on the core programs here at Sacred Heart you can find the link at the bottom of your screen Dr. John McNavish, Director of Core Programs, thank you for being here thank you